Hi, I'm Jesse Johnson. For those who have been following along with my ice bath adventures, here's an update. So I had made this purchase on Amazon. It was only about 70 bucks. It was fantastic uh, for six months out of the year. However, now that the weather's warmer, I cannot possibly get it cold enough with enough bags of ice. And I've tried those, you know, 15 of those ice packs. It's just, it just doesn't do it. So then I did a whole bunch of research. I saw the chest freezer. So um, kind of the pros and cons of what to do, what not to do, good and bad. Uh, I went with a Kenmore, um, you know, it's, it's a, it's a well-known brand. This was white. I wanted it to, it to be badass looking. So I, I did a matte uh, finish. The problem with it is A, I'm terrible at spray painting and B, number one, two, um, it's already getting kind of marked up. I guess the wind's bringing stuff on and it, it's not the best. It looks better than white, but maybe next time I think I'd put a vinyl wrap around it, but it was really expensive. So come check it out. So what I did is I put a seal, a clear sealant, um, through all the cracks. Now you're going to want to go with the white interior, with, which is the shell as opposed to the metal. <clears throat> so all of the, uh, anytime there's a, uh, a little a seam, I added the sealant and then I found this waterproof and uh, up to negative 70 temperature sensitive tape um, to put on top of that. And then in some areas I even added more sealant because the, uh, the glue on the tape is not the best. So then what I've done is I've taken it a step further and I've added this, uh, it's a UV light, which is gonna kill the bacteria. This adds oxygen, which I can control the intake and it adds flow. It's also got a filter on the inside. I'm gonna be putting in a very large bag of Epsom salt uh, as well. Um, I'll probably fill it up to about here. And then this, this beauty here, if you can see down here, <clears throat> this is called an ink bird. Okay, so that's a thermometer and it runs into here. Now this can heat or cool and it's this, I paid for the slightly more expensive version which is Wi-Fi controlled. So yes, I can be on vacation or at a meeting and want to turn it on and it'll, you know, it'll cool it down. So the cool thing here is this will tell me, uh, I can set it that I don't want it to go over eight. Um, and then of course it turn off when it gets to about four, probably the threshold I'm comfortable with. So anyway, super excited about this. And then what I did, went on Amazon, um, which is actually where I got most of this stuff. This was just on Craigslist. I'm gonna put a total in the description when I tally everything up, not including this, I think. I got this used, it's about 300 bucks. Um, the other parts were about 200. So the whole thing's about 500 bucks. When you look online, you can see other options, the pre, pre-made ones, they're five, six, seven. I've seen $9,000 systems and this is bigger. So anyways, what I'm gonna do, this is a, simply a heat coil. So I'm gonna fill this up with water after I give it a solid clean. This sits right in the middle. I'm gonna use something to keep it away from the edges and I'm gonna give it a, a little bit of heat, not, not a hot tub level, but just, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be heated, but enough to be able to jump back and forth. So super excited. In the description, I'll show you what I did. I'll give you links to where I bought pretty much everything aside from the fridge, even that. If you want to do it yourself, it's really not that hard. Now, the next step is to convince my wonderful girlfriend, Yulia, to jump in with me. Anyways. Okay, so before I torture myself for your amusement, some safety features and a general update on the ice bath. So it's been a couple of weeks since I get, put this thing all together. For one, you'll notice little bits of white all over the place. That's simply just the salt. It's the Epsom salt from in here. Um, no leaks. My triple seal process has been fantastic. Uh, the actual box itself, the water is perfectly clean and it's working perfectly. So what I have is I have an extension cord that goes to here, but there's some important things that I've done. For one, I don't get in it if the power is running to it. Very important for you because if, you know, obviously you don't want to jump in water with power. So that kills the power right there. Uh, all of these product links I will have available in the post. So another thing, I took it a step further 
And this is basically, uh, I can't even pronounce how, what this exactly does, but GFI, I think it is. Essentially, if it shorts out, it cuts the power. You have these in, uh, in your bathroom as well. It's a safety feature. So if I magically forget to turn this off and somehow it leaks, and somehow there's an electrocution, it's gonna be very short, it's not gonna kill me. Um, other things to keep in mind too, I have this device over here called an ink bird. It's actually controlled off the Wi-Fi. So cool. So I have a variance. Now I've been out of the ice bath uh, process for a little while now. And while I was building this, cause my other bath, I just couldn't get it cold enough. So the problem is my tolerance has gone way down. Um, so I'm only setting it at eight and how that works is it only turns on the tub. And of course all of the cleaning stuff on the inside when the when the heat gets above eight and it turns off my tub freezer when it gets below eight so anyways uh, another thing too i've noticed to help pass the time this is my new favorite amazon toy it doesn't go in your ear so i can listen to music or talk on the phone and hear everything out outside which is really good for safety of course if you're riding a bicycle or doing something out there anyways very cool love this so what i'll do is i'll throw on three minute meditation and i'll jump in here however recently i've not been able to get over two minutes so anyways so uh okay oh. 